Hello everyone and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. First, I really wanna thank everyone who have recently subscribed because the channel just hit 1400 subscribers. That is absolutely insane. I never thought I would actually get over past like couple hundred, but here we are 1400 and we are actually going beyond that. Already we're closing to 1500 already, so thank you so much for the support. Now, today I'm gonna do something pretty stupid. <laughs> I think you can just expect that from me from now on. Uh, it's something that I have never seen anyone do before in the game. And I got this idea when I was just thinking about stupid stuff that I could do in the game. Now, in the summer, when they released Revontuli, they also added need zones for the geese. And I thought, what would happen, or would it even be possible, to stalk hunt geese on the fields with a bow? <laughs> because the most efficient way of hunting geese is probably still hunting them with the stands, put the decoys, call them down, and splash them with shotguns. But I have never seen anyone try and sneak up on the geese while they are in their need zones. So, let's head out to the field and see if this is even possible. Are the geese gonna be hyperactive? Can we even get close to them? I don't know. Let's find out. It's a rest zone for the geese. It's not too many, but at least I have my first birds in sight. It will, should be good, so let me just try and go get close. I actually had a change of plans. Right on the other side of this mount, mount, mountain hill. Oh, there they are. Another group just landed behind this hill. So these are different geese than the ones I was just watching. But these guys are a lot closer. So let's see, are there any more? I don't really see. It's just this one group. This guy is already... Okay, that's calm. And I saw one going attentive. So let's see if I can take this shot down. There he is. That's a... I think I missed, damn it. Okay, this guy is going... <laughs> it would be cool to have like really, really long shot with a bow in the air. No, I don't think I'm gonna hit any of them. <laughs> but they went attentive real quick. Like super fast. I didn't even get to 60 meters and they already went attentive. So I don't think that's a good thing for me. The wind was okay. It wasn't any bad. And I still should have these guys over there. I don't. Wait. Oh, there's a new new group a bit further down so the one that was before closer has went away but then here we have a feed zone for this so let me get crouching and crawling and see how close i can get they are not too far away 60 meters 65 and it's already in alert what the heck is this i've been crawling since 150 meters and these guys are already alert. They can't smell me, can they? No, I don't think so. That's absurd. I can't crawl closer than 60 meters. What the heck is going on? <laughs> okay, now they're back to attentive. Can I slowly get close? Is it even possible? Like, I can do 60 meter shot, that's okay. But I want to see how close I can get to. There's somewhere there. They're making so much noise, my poor ears. <laughs> I didn't think this when didn't think this through. So those are... Okay. And they went straight to alert. I didn't even have to do more than get up. Straight to alert. And there they go. Dang. Nope. I'm not gonna hit it. Oh boy, this is so much harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> Come on, I can hit one. No, that's just a waste of arrows. 
<laughs> Man, this is genuinely hard. I thought it wouldn't be too difficult. But man, these are very aware of their surroundings. <laughs> There's another group just behind this hill. Luckily, they are not hard to find. But there we go, that's a level 4 too. Okay, I really want to get that. 100 meters away. They are all calm, which is good. And as you can see, I'm already crawling. I've been crawling for quite a while for quite a while now now can you use the caller to call them actually in while they're on the ground i don't think so but it <laughs> doesn't hurt to try nope that doesn't seem to work at all so the caller is just to get them down which makes sense i think it's even in the description to call the animals down wait how is this guy attentive it's 90 meters attentive okay that's some are you kidding me they're already alert but i can hear more on the other side of this hill maybe they are closer wind is terrible for these guys but let's see if i can get any closer these guys are a lot closer, 56 meters, they're in alert, yeah I know, there's a level 4, 60 meters roughly, should be dang it, they went away, they take off so fast, there is no time to react at all, and this side already spooked you, holy crap, this is, <laughs> okay, I can do it. Did I hit it? No. This guy? It's going, I'm gonna get it. Okay, one more try. Wait, wait! <laughs> it died! I got it! <laughs> yeah, are you kidding me? Let's go. Here we have the first keys. <laughs> 95 meters in the air with the bomb. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> Apparently, I can't kill them on the ground, but uh, I can sneak up on them and then shoot them in the air at 100 meters. <laughs> okay. There's some. I can see their heads. It's not too far. Oh, this guy is so close. 45 meters. Okay, I gotta take that. That is so close. 45 meters. Easy shot. Straight to alert. Yes, I got it. Okay, at least it will die. <laughs> at least. But okay, that was the first legit Stark kill. I got close by crawling. And then I kill it. Okay. Well, okay. That felt much better than the previous attempt. Uh, there's more coming. Are they gonna land somewhere? Oh, they're gonna go. Let's go. Well, hello there. Are there any big ones? Level 2. I saw this guy. Are there any landing close to... Oh, there we go. Just a level 2. It's also level 2. Okay. Let's take the close one. There's more coming down. It's raining geese. Okay, I'm gonna take that. Straight down. Can I take another one? Eee, barely missed. Did I miss? Its health is not dropping, so I must have missed. Okay. After a ton of failure, I finally have some success. <laughs> I'm starting to get this down. Just be where they're gonna land. And you're good to go. <laughs> okay, let's pick this guy up. I can still hear more of them. But that was a really good shot. This 300 grain arrow has no penetration at all. Which again makes sense. It 
doesn't have broad head so it's not there to do massive damage by penetrating through the animal yeah, I got it that's a nice shot but there's more I have one another dead and I can hear them somewhere in the distance so let's see if I can get some more Where is it? Oh, there it is. 79 meters. Quite far away. But I have a lot of cover. So hopefully these bushes actually hide me all the way through. Or at least most of them. A lot of the cover in Hirschfelden actually doesn't hide you. Wait, there's a dead goose. <laughs> oh, really? What? Okay then, I'm not sure which one what is that, but at least it's dead. It has to be the one I shot just before. Yeah, I mark it, just so I know that it's there. Now, I can't see the geese, they are like just behind these bushes. So, hopefully I can get close enough to, by crawling. So far no luck, but at least the wind is much better this time. The sounds are getting closer. Let me have to take a look. There it is. Should be like 40 meters. I got it. <laughs> it really doesn't kill them on the spot too fast. You really have to have a really good shot. If, it, if it's not a vital, it's not gonna die too fast. But all right, <laughs> that's that's another one down. Let's go pick this guy up. So how I hit this? That's just a flesh hit. Yeah, that's um. Sure, let's uh let's call it a flesh hit, shall we? <laughs> I did some emotional damage right there. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes these shots really don't collide with the animals properly. There has to be like some animation where the wings are flapped and they just went down in the exact moment I shot it. And the color of the digital update. And here we have the other one. Just confirm this guy. And that again, just hit on the front. It doesn't penetrate to the lungs from the front. 35, no, 22 meters. And it does not penetrate to the lungs from the front. So that's something to keep in mind if you want to bow hunt the geese. <laughs> just the 300 grain arrows are not good at all. But that is now several geese down. I think that's pretty awesome. So that was my adventures of bow, stalk bow hunting the geese here in Hirschfeld. And I gotta say, that was a lot harder than I thought it would be. I just thought that these animals are not gonna be too easily spooked. You can just basically almost crawl to them and just smack them with the arrow. But that was not the case at all. These guys were hypersensitive to their surroundings. They really saw you from further away, even if you were crawling. So this was really a proper challenge to bow on these guys. I never actually thought I could this would be possible. And it wasn't until the Revon to the Coast came out and they gave the geese neat zones. So they, so they actually land down to the ground, which they didn't do before. You really had to have the whole geese set up and just call them in while they were flying by. So that was the case before, but now you can hunt the geese like any other animal just starting while they are on the zones. But overall, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> I, I tremendously enjoyed this, no matter how hard it actually was. If you really want to give yourself a challenge, go and try this out. And let me know down in the comments how successful you were. Thank you for watching. And as always, have fun. Happy hunting and I see you on the next one. Bye.